everyone, this is Bodhikwa Beans and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, what we had was basically the beginning of chapter 1, which is showing uh, Hajime's reaction to the situation that they're suddenly in with this killing game. And uh, we got to see Soda being <laughs> ridiculous. Um, yeah, but right now we're about to go join up with everyone else at the restaurant. Alright, hotel lobby. Oh, figured somebody would be here. Oh yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for any Monokuma figures. Perhaps laying about. When Akuma contacts us through the monitors, I guess I gotta leave it alone. Aww. No point? Arcade machine! Haven't seen this type of arcade game in ages. This definitely feels more like a hot spring inn than a five star hotel. Okay. Yeah, a lot of games out in the open here, which is not typical, but. Hey, girl, what's up? How you doing? Huh? I thought everyone was waiting at the restaurant. Oh? Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming in until everyone else arrived. Hmm. But I guess I should get going too. Playing video games all morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. Yeah, I miss playing video games whenever I want. <laughs> But when you're adulting and working, it is what it is. Alright, everybody's here except Soda. <laughs> oh, Bay. <gasps> Hello, darling. <laughs> Am I like the only person on the planet who will react to seeing Tagami th <laughs> this way? <laughs> Am I? Seriously? Like, I don't care that he gained weight. He's still his sexy domineering jerk self, you know? Holier than thou. <laughs> Why do I love someone who hates me so? I really don't get it. I don't understand what it is about him that makes me go, Ah, <sighs> sama <laughs> But uh, most of us will just call him Tadami. But still, he's, he's something else. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just the glasses. I'm just weak for the glasses, okay? <laughs> Alright. Enough thirsting. You're late, Hajime. And where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He... ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However, however, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? Dude, do you have amnesia too now? <laughs> I thought we had amnesia. Like, come on, man. I don't remember anything happening. And even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand? Yep, yep. Not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey! So, why have you gathered us here? <laughs> Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Uh, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Boiding! We? Apparently, Monsieur Byakuya has something to tell us! Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we could fight that thing! I mean it! It has heavy weapons and everything! Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you this. A bow first. 
However, let me give you some advice. That was close. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Ah, fandom sama. <laughs> Me and the hamsters all over you, like, ah, yes, yes. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez! Ugh, jeez. Fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself, then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here. Even if I have to tie him up. Probably enjoy that. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, see? <laughs> Why are me and Teru in the same wavelength? No! Dear lord, I don't want to be compared to him. No! <laughs> A little jealous now. Getting tied up by Miss Mihiri. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. He's enthusiastic. Okay. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from, anyway? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The voice! I... No, I'm not ready! <laughs> I'm already kind of just pulling these voices out of thin air. But you... I don't know what voice to do for you, dear lord. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, come on, Binks, come on. <clears throat> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Ah, they even have crab and shrimp. Ah, crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, stuttering face. Shut up, biatch. <laughs> My ugly, stuttering face? Gross! That's it. That's the face right there. Demon child. Why? Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? I know since I am one. Honestly, you should stop now. Oh, I got it. Teru Teru prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. Oh my god. Ew. Girl, stop. <laughs> stop. I understand being hungry, but that's a bit... That's a bit over the top, you know? And I'm trying not to look at the boobs, okay? Trying not to be like, <gasps> Bazonga! <laughs> you know? Like Pharaoh. <laughs> this is bad. Tastes younger than me. No, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! Oh, never thought I'd see you with a uh, anger in your face. <laughs> in fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food? How rude! Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. I don't know if I want to eat his food. I feel like it might be laced with some things. Like, um, you know, stuff to make them a little hot and bothered just so he could take advantage. <laughs> I don't trust this guy at all. What? What does that mean? Well done. Well, let's just say you're... Yep. Oh my god, I was just... 
No, I think he's literally saying that right now. I think he is so totally admitting that he would be drugging out all of our food. <sighs> Jesus. Either that or he's just saying it'd be so good that you would want to uh, sleep with him. <laughs> <sighs> well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. Yep, I knew it. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. What did you say? You creep. How do you know about that? Oh my god, she's blushing. Oh, it's true. <laughs> uh, he guessed correctly? What kind of witchcraft is this? <laughs> However... However, if Terry Terry did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... <sighs> Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison. To make sure it's safe for consumption. Uh-huh, sure, buddy, sure. But we don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey! Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh man. Stop! Don't pull. I'm gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> God, he gives me such a vibe of like Larry Butts. That's totally who he reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Be careful! Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know? Ooh, girl, you ask him to be the first victim. <laughs> I just want to go home already! Whoa. That's loud. <laughs> what the heck? What the? Oh no, I forgot! <laughs> Um, Mikan? How the hell did this happen? I mean, that's seriously wrapped around several times, so... And even her socks and shoes fell off. Girl? Oh, no, 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 no! I, I, I tripped! Can you even call that tripping? <laughs> How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. P please help me. Ah, she looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. Dookie, come on now. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. What the heck? Are you okay? I think Kamaida has a little crush on her. Just just noticing little things here and there. Uh, Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Just so embarrassed. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Did you say magic? <laughs> Yumiko, get out of here. Um, anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Mm, since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right, though I am not quite ready to start eating breakfast. I should begin my tour. So, it's finally starting. That took way too long. <laughs> ah, it's letting us get to know these wacky group of characters, you know? Now let's see, any, uh, Monokuma anywhere? Could be hidden. Uh, my terrible eyesight. Um, I don't think so. 
Alright. <clears throat> Do we have to talk to all of y'all or just click on him? Hey, hey! Can I listen while I eat? That's enough. No. Lies! But I got all this food on my plate! <laughs> what the hell is he scoffing about? <laughs> Such a cluttered, vulgar way of piling food. There's no semblance of theme or principle on this plate. Do you honestly think that is a large pile of food? <laughs> He's like, you weakling. <laughs> you cannot compare to me. You? Wh what'd you say? Let me say this. Do not even think about copying what I do. This much food is beyond you lowly peasants. I'm the only one who could possibly eat this much food, for I've overcome the hardships of the past. The hardships of the past? With his confident attitude, it doesn't suit him at all to talk about stuff like hardships. Try saying that again. Hey, I can't just ignore something like that. Hey, Akane, you shouldn't. If you attempt an eating competition, You'll ruin that perfect figure of yours. Oh, you think her figure is perfect, eh? <laughs> Mahiru, I see you, girl. What? Why you? Do you have any idea how much money I spent sculpting my physique? Excuse me? Are you telling me I need to lose weight? What are these guys even fighting about? <laughs> okay. Uh... Pekko, are we gonna talk about your underwear for? Yeah, <laughs> she's still thinking about it. <laughs> it's hard for me to move around with normal undergarments. That's the only reason. Okay, honey. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> this is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> Gundam, stop. For my du four dark tables of destruction, it's snack time. I shall engulf this world. Hmm. Feast upon your meal. <laughs> He's being such a good daddy to his little hamsters. <laughs> Seems like my yes was correct. So Miss Pecco was wearing a black thong. At this rate, I should make my move with Miss Sonia, too. <sighs> we seriously need to keep an eye on him. Yeah, I think we really do. Can't trust this fool. Alright, little witch. Hey, hey! She literally tripped over nothing. Seriously, that sort of thing should only ever happen in manga. Or did she do it on purpose? If so, that's super annoying. Who would do that on purpose, seriously? Good nom nom nomming! It's morning! Good nom nom nomming! <laughs> Man, I slept so much. Just kidding! I was worried about what's gonna happen from now on, so I couldn't, slop, uh, couldn't fall asleep at all. You should probably sound more worried. She looks really cute, though. <laughs> oh! Chicken meat. Make sure you consume as much chicken meat as you possibly can. What are you talking about? If you want muscles, then you must consume chicken. Chicken is low in calories and high in protein. Hmm. Now's not a good time. <coughs> Mm, I see. No worries then. I don't feel rejected at all. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, Mika, are you okay? Flinch. Aww. Mikan, are you okay? You said your head was throbbing. <laughs> I'm alright. It, it actually happened a lot. Thank you very much. Th th thank you very much for worrying about me. Oh, that's cute. What's up, Sonia? Um, I did not know Mr. Monokuma could cook. He 
appearance would suggest he is ill-suited for intricate work. I wonder if it is alright. It's not one Kuma doing the cooking. Maybe whoever is controlling that thing prepared this food. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, why are you so close to me? Stop. <laughs> What's up, Shashi? You sleepy, honey? Sleepy. <laughs> oh, sleepy. I'm just wanting to finish this story already. Yeah. He's all the way over here on his lonesome. Don't talk to me. As usual, he's so standoffish. Ah, soda. Huh? What's with the whole people like you are usually the first victim remark? <laughs> as long as I lock myself in my room, there won't be any problem. That's something victims usually do too. <laughs> well, all right, Kameda. Hajime. Hey, Hajime. Did you see the new rules in the e-handbook? It looks like this killing school trip isn't a joke after all. This is troubling. That Monokuma thing is serious. He really wants us to start killing each other. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Looks like my fear is contagious. If he really means that, then my face must look really pale right now. Alright, babe. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So, under these strange stoke so <coughs> Whoa. Okay. Well, I can tell my throat's already saying, well, that's a lot of voices. <clears throat> so under these such Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you have to end the episode soon. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So, under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously. Right? No! No, you've forgotten about shitting. How could you forget about the most important thing ever? It's shitting! <laughs> Dude, stop. Pay attention! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. <laughs> Just like, seriously, dude. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. Holding in comments. Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry. That's why, if you want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> oh, just as I figured. Uh, that was kind of lame, huh? However, however, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since, since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then, what? Listen, what we need right now is a disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. Well, wouldn't Nidai make sense for that? <laughs> I see. Even sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. <laughs> the way he said it. Rejoice. <laughs> oh, I shall accept the position. Okay. 
Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, then why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Tagami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given her current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty, under circumstances like this, to be forceful to a certain degree. But that may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. That is a lot of... That's a huge burden to put on yourself, though, you know? And it's surprising, considering what we know about him from the first game. Like, huh. That's a, that's a step up for you, dude. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Faye. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too, I guess. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. Ooh, bold, bold statement. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> yeah, so reliable. It's true, he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. Yeah, true, man, very true. He expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's a Jabberwalk Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Yakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, he may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Nobody else had any issue with it at first, though. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Oh, I guess they all did. Oh, except these two. I guess uh, he's probably too busy feeding his hamsters and she's too busy stuffing her face still. <laughs> You don't have to pay attention to me. Just go. I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face <laughs> and food in your mouth. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So... After she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one gulp. Oh my god. Scarf Stark Wong? Om nom nom, what? Man, that was good. You ate so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Ugh. What happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Crap, now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. Girl. So annoying. Jeez, I feel better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. Yes, I should go for now. <laughs> okay. Huh. What's up, babe? Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! Oh, he said all their names! Okay, Jumpy. I heard Magazi. Sanpi or Sanji or something like that. 
and Chompy? I don't know. I would need to see it written out. My thought of day was a destruction. Let us venture to the end of the earth. Jabberwock Park. There's no need to shout. Just hurry up and go already. <laughs> Why are you so extra? Oh, but I still love him. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's go to the lobby. Maybe somebody's down here. Oh. Uh, some more stragglers. But actually... No, I haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> well, that's gonna have to be it for this episode, guys. I'm still trying to see why I can't get into the F1, the, the menu. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!